What's up, idols? It's Cece Lesson 3. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So for this, this is just something I've been wanting to talk about. I've, I've heard the story. I'm confused with the outrages. Well, part of the outrage I understand, part of the outrage I don't understand. But before we hop into this video, if you guys would like to check out more content that I can't put on YouTube because of the nature of the story or the nature of the topic, I would invite you to check out the link in the description. It goes to my Patreon. I just uploaded a story about a girl who was in Korea for three months and decided to have a hookup and she, she, she got more than she bargained for. He then finally asked to stay at mine for the night. I said, okay, but don't be creepy. And he said, he's a gentleman. I asked, how so? He said, because women always come first. So now I'm intrigued. You have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Even when I was on top, he used his arms and hands to control me. He wanted me to choke him, and when I did, he kept asking me to squeeze tighter and tighter, and I was scared because he looked like he was actually gonna pass out. Like, actually pass out. But he kept saying harder, tighter, squeeze, even when no sound came out and I had to read his lips. I eventually had to stop because I'm not a murderer. <laughs> How do you even explain that to the cops in Korean? He asked me why I let go, and I said it was too much. He said sorry and coughed a lot, so I knew he could barely breathe. I found it hard to finish after that, not gonna lie. I felt like this night was about him experimenting with different kinks to see which he liked and which maybe stuck. I finally got off of him and he got on. Do it for the plot. So yeah, that's that. Patreon is lit. It's fun. This video, however, not so fun. So I remember, I don't know, back in like 2019, um, on my like recommended for you feed, I guess on Instagram, the explore page, I saw a girl who I actually thought she was like biracial or something. Moon Gabi, she's a model, but she's really tan and has really full lips. And I thought she was like maybe half black, half Korean or something. But that's beside the point. My, I only bring it up because that's where I first heard of her, saw her, knew who she was. So recently, a story has been circulating where the model, Moon Gabi, age 35, and a Korean actor, Jung Woo Sung, who is 51, they had a baby out of wedlock. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard this, because hearing about births in Korea just seems so rare these days, I was like, huh? Finally, another new baby, that's great. And you would think that's where the joy would be and all the focus would be, but no, it's like, he should do the right thing and marry her. And he did an interview with a YouTuber, Song Shi Kyun, Song Shi Kyun, who's a YouTuber, singer YouTuber. And an interview started to get popular again because the Korean actor Jung Woo Sung was there talking about how, you know, he missed the age to marry. He's like, oh, it's not that I didn't want to get married, I just missed the opportunity, like, I just, it just didn't happen. And a lot of people are like, oh, he's like an eligible bachelor. And when you think of actors like Gong Yu, who is also like mid to late 40s, no kids, no wife or girlfriend that we know of. Th there's a lot of stories going around where people say like he has a non-celebrity girlfriend who he was with at the time. So it was like a one night stand turned baby. And the thing that made the interview, the timing of it sus is because Moon Gabi was pregnant while he did this interview about missing the chance to marry. He actually said, and I quote, it's not that I didn't get married, but that I couldn't. I missed the right timing. He also said, I was the first actor to openly admit to having a girlfriend. Is it wrong for actors or celebrities to have someone by their sides because of their fame? I think it's a pity for us entertainers. And I agree. I agree with that entirely. So I think it's noble to publicly own up to a child's paternity and say, I am the father, even though that would bring a lot of shame because he didn't marry the mother. When I bring up like gender issues and stuff, I always get people in the comments who are like, oh, these young, woke, liberal women, they'll never find a husband, they'll never have a baby, they should have a baby, they should just want a husband. And, like, I don't understand why people make it seem like the only thing women want or should want is a baby and a husband. Like, people are like, giving this actor crap for not being married. Maybe she didn't want to get married to him too, you know? Like, a lot of people are like, oh, he should do the right thing and marry her but maybe Moon Gabi doesn't want to marry him. Like it goes both ways. So like for so many people to be calling for them to just get married because they have a kid and that's the right thing to do. Like, are you saying that it's better for two people to be married to each other even if they don't like each other, don't want to be with each other, aren't happy together, aren't good for each other? Is like the title of marriage all that should matter? Cause I don't understand why people put so much meaning in marriage, especially these days when so many people get divorced because spouses, she that's another thing. On, the, on my channel, we do a lot of story times, and especially on my Patreon, we do a lot of story times about hookups and sex and stuff. And, you know, sometimes it ends good, sometimes it ends bad, but there's always people in the comments like, this is why you shouldn't sleep with someone before you're married, or this is why you shouldn't give your body to someone until you're married, but it's like, 
This happens even after you're married. Being husband and wife doesn't make everything magically perfect. It doesn't mean she's not gonna cheat on you. He's not gonna cheat on you. He's not gonna abuse you. She's not gonna abuse you. It does not mean make everything perfect and it doesn't mean you're immune to all the hardships that come from a relationship pre-marriage. Marriage don't mean what it used to. And a lot of the times back in the day, people didn't openly talk about the problems in their marriage. Like if they were being abused or assaulted or manipulated and gaslit and tortured, I don't know. You didn't talk about that. You just smiled, grinned and bared it because this is your husband and this is who you're with for the rest of your life. This is your wife. This is who you're with for the rest of your life. So what happens in the house stays in the house. Like nobody outside is supposed to know. People romanticize old school marriages like they were always perfect and they were not. So the fact that this actor said, I'm gonna take care of my son, but I don't need to marry the mom. I'm not gonna be with her. We're not in a relationship. We're gonna co-parent and bring up our boy together. I'm really, like, why do people have a problem with that? Like I said, in a country with, you know, such a struggling birth crisis like Korea, I thought this, celebrate any new baby that comes. Like, why is there always a problem with something? They called him a selfish do-batter because he won't marry her. My only worry is I do know that in Korea, if you're not married before the baby's born, like registering the kid in the country and like for school and stuff is a lot more difficult. That's what I've heard. Like there are some people who want to get married but don't want to have a baby. There are some people who want to have babies but don't want to get married. You don't have to be married to have a baby. You don't have to have a baby to be married. Like I just, I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Again, on my channel, we talk a lot about gender issues and stuff, particularly in Korea, but recently the states because we're about to experience a lot of the same bullshit but a lot of people make it seem like when you don't want to get married it's because you can't get married you're single because you can't get a man instead of just having standards and having expectations and what you want and what you're looking for like you can choose to be single you can be happy and be single i'd rather be happy and be single than be in a marriage and be miserable that's just me I think the only thing that kind of gives me an issue is the fact that he's 51 having his first kid. Like it's one of my my worries too. Like if I do decide to have kids, I worry that, oh, I don't want to be like an old mom. I don't want to be like an old mom. That's my only hiccup because I want to be in my kid's life for most of their life. Like I want to be there to help them and guide them. And I don't want them to grow up without me. Like if they're 15 when I die because I'm old or you know what I mean? Like that's my only worry. So she's 35, he's 51 and they just had their first kid together. I'm not trying to belittle the fact that he's stepping up as a father because that's a amazing but I do feel like the bar is just really low like a man can say I'm taking care of my kid and everybody's like that's a good man but of women it's expected I don't know it's kind of related I guess but there was a post that I commented on where it was a woman twirling and she's like being 30 plus with no kids and no marriage and being happy as fuck or something like that I left a comment that said if men want women to start having babies again then they should stop making women single mothers and then this guy commented oh Maybe women need to stop choosing such shitty men to have babies with. If somebody has some bogus statistic about women initiates most of the divorces and women are choosing to be single mothers, it's like, oh, he no. needs some milk. Even if that was the case, obviously these women are not in happy marriages. Obviously, no one leaves a happy, healthy marriage that they feel like they're getting quality from. You know what I mean? Dumb, bogus argument. But when the government is doing so much to try and get people to have babies, all these like, speed dating and, and romance services and like incentives, financial incentives to get married, move in together, have a baby. That when a public new baby comes out, why are people criticizing it so much? It's like, you should celebrate that this is finally happening. This is one of my favorite comments. At least he got a baby. Wasn't Korea that country who would pay you for having a baby and now they're pissed because he doesn't want to get married? <laughs> this one I like too. I'm grateful to have been born in Europe. We can have children without getting married and no one dares to open their mouths. I still don't understand how Korea is so technologically advanced and so backwards in mentality. Maybe a government made up of only old men? Ask yourselves why you are the country with the highest rate and the lowest birth rate. Let me, let me get that one a like. That is facts right there. Ever ask if she wanted to marry him? Maybe she doesn't want it. Again, facts. Especially when you consider when he did that interview with that YouTuber, he said he missed the opportunity to get married and she was pregnant at the time. So maybe she didn't want to get married. Like marriage isn't for everybody. And I really wish people would stop making it seem like everyone should want that or everyone needs that. Not everyone does. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I never really saw a successful marriage in my life. Like my parents split when I was really young. Even my grandmother just recently separated and like, that was like the last, I was like, oh, love, marriage can work. So I never really thought about marriage or wanted it because I always thought it's like an expensive breakup. But I'm not gonna lie, with my boyfriend now, I could see it. Because usually with me, the longer I'm with someone, I feel like 
the interest kind of dies down or it fades or I, I lose interest. I don't, it's a me problem. I'm fully aware of that. But with him, I feel it going up. Like I'm loving him more. I, I'm cherishing him more and I hate being apart from him. So him, I could maybe see a marriage one day, but that's not for everybody. And until him, I, I never even thought about it. So this one, I like this comment too. It must be exhausting living in a country full of people who never make mistakes and appoint themselves as guardians of outdated social norms. In this case, the so-called mistake was two consenting adults, she's 35, he's 51, having sex with a low concern for contraception, which let's be real, is nobody's business. No one needs to get married just because they had a baby. As long as they are responsible parents, there's no need for a marriage when they don't want to. That's what I'm saying. Like, what is the point of saying they should get married? So like, you really want to force these people to be together who obviously chose not to like would you be happy if they said we're getting married like why is that your business i'm really curious what you guys think about it. i don't know why this this got me so upset because i knew the model from instagram i was like oh she's really pretty and like she has like this long flowy hair petite body she's a really gorgeous woman and i'm not gonna lie i don't know him he does he does look familiar but i can't quite place what i know him from any baby news should be good news over there you'd think song Jun ki just had a second baby with his I think she's an English English actress, Eloise or Louise, Catherine, something like that. But they just had their second baby. So we're seeing babies come. We should be excited about that. But no, they want to criticize and nitpick because it's not the, the way it's traditionally done or the way that traditionally should be done. I don't know. I would really love to know what you guys think about this. I, know, I don't know why issues like this get me so heated and so frustrated, but like it's always something. It's always some nitpicky thing. Like. I need to just stay out of the comments section of these types of posts because that's where trolls live. That is literally where trolls live. They have nothing better to do all day but go in the comments and harass people and be stupid and try to make themselves feel good by putting, judging other people and putting other people down. And I think that's more what this is. Yeah, I don't want to ramble too much. I'm so sorry. By the way, just a quick update. My homegirl made it to Korea. She literally just got there. She's like, oh my God, it's so much snow. It's snowing here. She moves in her apartment soon. I'm going to be going home in about three weeks for Christmas. And I'm probably going to stay home for New Year's, even though New Year's in Korea would be kind of fun because I haven't done that in a while. But um, yeah, Bae's going to come with me to meet my family for Christmas. And then after that, I'm going to Korea and I'll be there for a few months. And subscribe if you want to see everything I'll be doing over there. Like the video help get this my content out there all that good stuff next video will be a normal story time i'm so sorry i've been kind of on a rant thing lately but we'll get back to some story times the next video will be a story time that i can promise you thank you so much for watching if you did remember to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time Annyeong.